Uh, uh, okay, uh, first topic. What? Oh, I see this. What's wrong with scientific ninja tech? What's the what? Wait, oh god! Because you said this in a video once. So I'm just like, like re- I'm reading everything. Yeah, I think I've, I've said this multiple times that I don't like scientific ninja tech. Exactly, I just don't yeah. like it. Yeah. Okay. Well, like I'm. I like. Okay. This might be a long, a long answer, but it's not really a long answer. I'm just like a stereotypical hater. And like, <laughs> I like Naruto. I love Boruto. Don't get me wrong. I don't like the tech. A lot of it, I can. Some of it, I can get around, like the Kawaki stuff and like the Delta. That stuff I like. Like, how they're, like, like those things. But I don't like when Katosuke, the scientific guy, came out with the Iron Man suit. I didn't <laughs> like that. Because I didn't feel like he deserved the power he was using. Granted, like, you can make the same argument. How does Ka- What did Kaoki do to deserve having, you know, scales come out of his arms and, like, all that stuff. But I, I feel like it's just different. And, like, just popping out Rasengan gods and, like, shadow clones and whatever else Borto did in the Chunin exams. With just like no training, I don't know. I feel like you have to work for your power, and that's so why a lot of like, scientific ninja tools skip that. I think part of this, and you correct me if I'm wrong, there's two aspects of it. I think one is with like Kawaki, Delta, and some of those characters. It feels more like it's Kawaki's ability because yeah. we don't we don't. I have theories on this, but there's. We don't know the specifics of what Amato did, but it feels, first of all, it's unique to Kawaki. Like, they each have their own unique one. And the way it's implemented, it doesn't feel like, oh, I stored Naruto's jutsu in this scroll and put it in my gauntlet and shot it out. It just feels like, this is Kawaki's ability. Yeah, it's some scientific cell transplant nonsense, similar to Yamato having Hashirama cells and so on. But it feels more like it's their ability now versus it's their tool now. There's a little bit of a difference there, which probably plays into it, as well as just, well, the coolness application factor. I, I guess you yes. probably just like the uh, hun- bo- uh, ninja like- body morphing <laughs> stuff more than you like the robotic tool gauntlet thing. <laughs> There's also yeah. that. There was another thing I was going to say, but I completely forgot. You're 100% right with that, though. It's like, it's like their ability. Like, you can't take Kawaki's, like, arm and give it to, like, some random ninja, right? But every mm-hmm. random ninja could pull out with the gauntlet, pop out, like, ten shadow clones, all with Rasengans, all with, like, every jutsu in the world, basically, without any training. Granted, right. they wouldn't and be able to use it that well. That was the other thing. Um, but, like, in the case of... Now, we don't know for sure exactly how it all works, but in the case of, let's just say Yamato, even Kawaki, there's probably some level of work he needs to do to master the ability he was given. Versus with the gauntlet, they're just literally, the point is you do not even need to expend chakra. Kawaki uses chakra with his abilities. The gauntlet literally requires nothing. It just requires yeah. you to press a button. Someone else does the work for you. Mm-hmm. Which is, is it the key? Because even if I say Kawaki, it's, he has to use it in battle. It, he's putting more into the ability than the gauntlet is. But granted, the gauntlet serves a very specific purpose in the Momoshiki arc. So in that context, I personally don't mind it because... If it was like a Kawaki thing, it wouldn't really work for the theme of the arc. So it, it had its place early on, in my opinion. But now it's, I mean, we don't really use it now anyway. And probably for the best, because I don't think anyone wants it coming back. And I don't even think it's thematically all that relevant anymore, because they've kind of moved past that. Like, we already did the arc. Okay, we don't need to do this again. Yeah, and I mean, I had something to say when you were saying that, but I, did I forget it? Damn. I think Damn. it's interesting. That's unfortunate. Yeah, so I, I, bring, I bring this up not to disagree with you because I think it's an interesting discussion in general. In fact, I should link you a video uh, that we did with actually two different people, J-Man and the guest after J-Man. It wasn't Kurosan. Who was it? It was someone else. Um, where we discussed like the Ace. beginning of Boruto no, being Ace bad for reasons I... like this. Was it Kuro? Might have been Kuro. Who was our no, previous guest? Been Kuro, Ace? No, it wasn't Adam. No, it wasn't, it wasn't Ace. Ace. We didn't talk about Boruto. Yeah. Anyways, anyways, we talked no, no, about... Wait, Troy was after J-Man. Troy? I think. Yeah, we didn't talk about Troy, though. Well, anyways, we talked no, about, like, the scientific ninja tech arc, you know, like, Mujina Bandits and Owl arc, and why the beginning no, of Boruto is bad. And it's because, like, the scientific ninja tech isn't a personal theme. It's more like a ideological concept, a, like, a universal thing of, like, morals or ethics rather than, like, a personal thing. Like, it's going to exist on its own, regardless of humanity or morals. 
Yeah, so like to compare tools in the land of waves, the idea is humans being tools. So the yeah. topic is rooted in humanity like, very directly. Whereas this one, it's about humanity's use of tools, it's literal objects versus humanity using humans as tools. So it's just use using tools for good or bad versus using people like as tools. So there's a more human element in the land of waves one. And it's just automatically gonna make you resonate more because well I, I imagine most of you watching are humans and not little ninja tech gauntlets so of course you're gonna relate better to the human thing yeah and whereas um there's a lesson to learn in the boruto arc with the whole oh it's not about the tool it's about how you use it it's less about the lesson and more of like coming to an answer about the theme so it's almost like it, hypothetically in Babylon, not hypothetically in the anime Babylon in the freaking like second to final episode, they discuss the constructs of what good and evil are as a concept. And so they're coming to their own conclusions there. They have a resolution of the theme by deciding what good and evil are. It's kind of like the same thing, except there's there's a takeaway there, but there's no like call to action so to speak of what to do with good to evil just telling you what good and evil is whereas in boruto it's like kind of telling you what to do but it, it's still not personal because it's just saying that tools are not inherently evil rather than anything else <laughs> i guess and personally the most resonant aspect of the owl arc is it's not really the ninja tech part it's just going back to the land of ways with the missile owl was doing the whole I am a tool thing and in the end he chooses to be a ninja he chooses to be human thing see that for me was the standout of the arc thematically but I mean that's basically Naruto Land of Waves all over again which makes sense I was from the Blendness Village okay you've got some sense voice actor so totally understand but that's really the thing that catches my eye it's not you know the ninja tools it's how being a tool <laughs> Yeah. Um. Do you guys? This is just like such an off question topic, but it reminded me of when you guys were talking about Al. So we know Al is like missing half of his body, right? Mm -hmm. Do you think he was stronger in Shippuden with the Byakugan, or is he stronger now in Boruto? Undoubtedly, now it's not even close. Okay. Bro's okay. Freaking, okay. I, was, I would remember. I, I held the other opinion. I held the other opinion. Oh, why? I'm curious. He was that he was, stronger. He's missing. He's missing half of his body, so that's half of his chakra network gone. Was basically and no, Byakugan was basically like my. Well, but he's not missing it. He replaced it. So you have to ask. Well, is the human half of his body stronger than the robot half of his body? I think the robot half is just stronger. And you look like some like Byakugan. Delta, but this, who's fully the robot. This is when I first sense. started watching and reading Borto, though. So okay, I was like, okay. I was like, dude. Al sucks. I was like, he's missing half his chakra <laughs> network, dude. The guy's like, the guy's dust. And I just never thought about it after that. I don't know. It just reminded me. But again, signed of a ninja no, tech. They're not using was chakra. Stronger, but he wasn't as being as strong as he could have been because he chose to only use the science part of him rather than using all of himself, which would incorporate both. And that yeah. would have been like by far the strongest Al if he just used both elements. But yeah. he chose to specifically not use his human side. He but was only an agent. His cyborg side was stronger. If he was just one Why versus the other. Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh. I'm like, Boruto, who used both? Through Mitsuki, technically. But <laughs> um, so I, I think another aspect of this, um, basically kind of rewording what you were saying, but there's also a difference between like having a character that we know has an arsenal and then them using scientific ninja tech when they don't need to, compared to someone like a Kawaki or a Delta, whose introduction is using scientific ninja tech so in a way our brain is automatically associating that with their arsenal as well as the fact that it's literally an augmentation like internally in their body or a part of their body rather than like an external thing that they could like equip or unequip at any time i think yeah. both of those factors like, it, it, that's what I was saying, but it feels like it's a part of them because, well, it literally is now. Yeah. It was transplanted into their body. So, like, that is Kawaki's body versus Kawaki wearing an Iron Man suit. Yeah. <laughs> the Iron Man suit. But Kawaki is always that, whereas Katasuke isn't. He's only that when he's in the jumpsuit. I think the Delta versus Naruto fight is a really interesting 
a uh, continuation of the theme going based off of the Boruto versus Ao fight to where Ao is embracing only the scientific side um but half of his body is still human he is still half ninja he's just not using the ninja side or he's purposefully ignoring it selectively ignoring it unlike someone like a delta who never was a ninja or human in the first place you could say yeah akabi but this is like a robotic built clone in the first place to where they're just not human and essence in there at all so, <laughs> unless you want to say akabi's data is in there but like whatever and then, like, with the case of Boro, he's not, like, out and ignoring all of his human ninjutsu and all that stuff, but he is specifically over-relying on the ninja attack and being arrogant about it, too. He's going out of his way, basically, to flex his ninja attack, and that leads to his downfall in his case. Well, I think the point of the Delta fight... The point of the Delta fight is to show that ninja attack is a complement to ninja rather than a supplement, which wasn't shown in the owl fight which shows the combination of both is stronger than one or the other because again owl was half and half uh and then boruto beat him by using both halves instead of just one half whereas naruto never used science as a half or technically he used science against delta if you want to you were like that but in my opinion well, what he did was he took advantage of weaknesses of technology that humans don't have. But, but but he did it being a ninja though so unlike the boruto fight where okay. he used both naruto versus delta was purely ninja versus purely scientific ninja tools to show the result of that so naruto won exclusively being a ninja without using scientific ninja tech which shows that ninja-ness is stronger than scientific ninja tech meaning that ninjas don't have to rely on scientific ninja tech even if it makes them stronger they're still better than yeah. tech and then with boris case well he is a little bit of both he's just relying too much on the ninja tech whereas obviously the team sense i was only using ninja tactic so they're proving though that like because they're using more ninja-ness, it's better than using more ninja techness. Yes. Because we know through the first arc that, like, the ninja tech, if you rely on it, it can stunt your growth as a ninja. So you'll get a, a short-term, like, power spike. But in the long term, you'll end up being weaker because you're relying on one thing rather than being able to be capable in multiple facets. Which is what happened with Al. Yeah. It's almost, in a funny way, aside from Momoshiki being the foil for Boruto, it's almost like Al is the Obito to Naruto. Al is what would have happened if Boruto went down the wrong path and stayed on that path. He's the end result of the dark version of Boruto. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, so is Mamushiki. Was. The, 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 except I was more like the literal because it's ninja tag. Mamushiki is more like the idea. Yeah, but Mamushiki but, never relied on something else. Like, he never was anything else in the first place. Mamushiki's more like Delta in that regard. Yeah, like he, well, yeah, the, the point is if Borto chose to rely. I mean, well, great, we don't actually know. For all we know, Mamoshiki was hypothetically like, Again, it's like a, a low level ninja who started eating chocolate. Like, no, no, bro. Right? Well, at the very least, we haven't got that. Unlike the Al, to where we know Al's running away from something. Yeah. He's trying, he's yeah, selectively I know, I know, ignoring. Like, the point is, ninja. he relied on chocolate pills. And Nark was saying, basically, if you rely on ninja tech, you're going to be the same as him. Obviously, yeah. Borto has the ninja starting point that Mamoshiki may or may not have, but it's a similar end result. Well, but that, like, Al isn't Momo... using his human side, so yeah. So Naruto's not saying that you'll inevitably, eventually end up like Momoshiki. He's saying if you do this, you are like Momoshiki now. Unlike Al, that would be the yeah. conclusion, the resolution of Boruto being like Momoshiki. If he continues down the path, that's I mean, the end other path, though. the end result. I mean, maybe what there other are differences? Some other differences, though. I mean, just getting really specific. <laughs> like this is a point in the Mobushiki arc that isn't in the Ao arc, but Mobushiki's ability is to basically use other people's jutsu and consume other people's power. What's the ninja tech do? The exact same thing. It takes their chakra, it uses their jutsu for you. It's like the same thing. That's yeah, but that's thing. just that's that specific scientific ninja tech. 
That's yeah, it's not about it's that one crazy. in particular. It's about tech in general. Know, anyway. right? <laughs> yeah. But anyway, um, um, moving on from Ninja well, I, okay. One more thing inside of Ninja oh, Tech. Actually. So I will say I so despite everything I've said, it sounds like I agree with you, Miso. There is one aspect of this where I do disagree, and the fact that I think it's I actually think it's cool. I like scientific Ninja Tech that just anyone can use anyone's power because it it feels like pokemon in that case like <laughs> boruto could just be fighting out in the grass one day and encounter suddenly oh it's a cloud ninja and then oh the cloud ninja used rasengan boruto got hurt 18 health points like i just think that's a cool factor that anyone can have anything at any time it's about again because it's about how you use it not what you have so but even if you want to say he didn't put in the work, part. you have to actually be able to use the scientific ninja tech effectively in order to make the Rasengan stored within it effective as well. It's not just pressing well, I button. agree with that, but kind of what you, the last part you said, though, is the thing that gets me, anyone can use that at any time. So that's the thing. So if we have a... So the problem is like, yeah, it's cool when Denki builds his own ninja tech. That's Denki using his skill set creating power for himself. It's really not that much different than Ninja when you think of it that way. Denki uses his mind, creates tools for himself, and uses them. That's cool. The problem, though, is once Denki does that, why doesn't everyone else just do the same? Why doesn't why Denki just give everyone an Iron Man suit? And then, well, they don't, obviously, because they're, they're, the story's not going to do that. But then you have to ask, why aren't they doing that? We've already established in a previous arc that it's not the tool, it's how you use it, Borco, and everyone else is okay with the idea of using him. So, well, honestly, why wouldn't Sasuke put on that Iron Man suit? Especially after he got nerfed. Why wouldn't Naruto do the same? The story's never going to give you that reason, so you're just left to saying, well, shit, why did they introduce it then? Uh, That's so the part for me. I get that, anyone like... Could use, it's not something that only Denki can use. It's something that anyone can use. So if then... they made it so that for whatever reason only Denki or only Kadaski or whoever can use it. Like, for example, Ao, it's literally Ao's body part. So I understand. Not everyone wants to get rid of their arm for a science arm. That's understandable. Iron Man suit you put on yourself, though, there's really no reason not to. Yeah, so I get that, like, again, it's the earned power thing. Uh, it, it's also the factor of, like, having seen characters. So, like, hypothetically... If Shino and Tintin and Kiba pulled up and Shino, instead of using his bugs, was spamming Rasengan, same as Kiba, not using Akamaru, Kiba's using Rasengan. If they're all just using the one scientific ninja tech, just spamming the same ability, that's like, we already know their movesets and that's killing the diversity and uniqueness in the series. But if you give it to new characters, we don't know their moveset already. I'm completely fine with it. I think it's cool. I prefer that, actually. And so if, if, you're, if your problem is, oh, well, why didn't they just do that? It sounds like your problem is with the story as it is, rather than the hypothetical of it. Not the concept, but just the story as it is. Well, it depends, because in the manga, that wasn't really introduced <laughs> that much. Uh, but yeah, I mean, yeah, why are people using Kadaski's body suit? Uh, um, but so uh, you could say that's a problem as is. I will say though, augmenting like if if Akamaru's got like a because he's old, so Kiba gives Akamaru some jumpsuit thingy that makes Akamaru basically young again. You know, I'm cool with that idea. They actually you integrate that. I don't really like though, because in that case it's like it's freaking Akamaru. Yeah, you can give Akamaru the ninja tech. Not a single person in the world's gonna complain about old man Akamaru having ninja <laughs> tech that makes him relevant again nobody would get mad at it. everybody would love it who doesn't support dogs having you know <laughs> some benefits right but i don't really like the idea of just any random bozo antagonist spamming the same old jutsu that be if you're gonna do it i want uniqueness i don't yeah want it doesn't have to be the same jutsu spamming rasengan or kirin or whatnot like yeah, I mean, everyone will walk around with a new jutsu. Exactly. It can be new jutsu in the scientific ninja tech, okay? You can have a freaking cloud ninja spamming grass style, grass scythe jutsu. I don't care. Make it a new thing. <laughs> it's whatever. 
But like for example, even like this also just helps just random I, people. I, I, I kind of like the idea that the ninja just has grass style anyway. Kinda... Well, that's <laughs> either no because because that's also limiting. They can have grass style and use grass style, and they can have a scientific ninja tech to have them be able to combine it with water style for a grass water combination of death. I don't know. <laughs> but I think this can also help other characters scale up to the Otsutsuki to where, well, Boruto and Kawaki can just fly. Well, why don't they just fly? So then here, now everyone else has a jetpack too. I mean, yeah, but I mean, yeah, that could be a way to get the uh, characters relevant again, but like we gotta like introduce these characters first. I also Let's think get them in the story. to Which, an extent. Gonna, like, I almost want to see them. I, yeah, I don't know. Okay. I also think to an that extent. Was, like, too late to do that. I, <laughs> I think scientific ninja a bit tech. Off topic, but at this point, okay. if they introduce Denki and Alave and stuff, it's just too late. <laughs> just don't introduce them at this point. I don't yes. want to introduce them. Uh, the same with the Joker. At this point, I know it's in the yes. anime and I'm going to hate it for, forever because of it, but. I really don't want it in the manga anymore. It's just too late. Yes, I agree. Please keep it out. Keep it out of the manga, please. Like, I would rather just have the joke on be anime only. I let it be a filler eye at this point. I, I don't even care anymore. I don't want it in the manga. It's just going to be bad no matter what when they introduce it. A little bit of a side tangent. The same goes for all the random bozo side characters. Just yep, don't even yep. introduce them. We've already seen what they do with Inoji. They're not going to do anything <laughs> better with Denki. It's only going to get worse. So let's just not bother. <laughs> Yeah. Back to what you saying? No, I don't know. You freaking cut me off twenty times. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> oh, I remember. Okay. Hey, you was cooking. I, I, lie. I was cooking. Okay. So I think scientific ninja techs are much better of an aid for those on their ninja path. They're they're still developing their journey. The young guy has let lessons, such as Boruto and the Chunin exams. He's still on his journey of becoming a ninja. Rather than someone who's already proficient at being a ninja, who's mastered being a ninja, like, yes, it helps Naruto, but Naruto doesn't need the help, and he doesn't get nearly the same amount of boost as someone else would, because I feel like it's not ninja tech. They're better at helping, supplementing growth than they are at supplementing power. So Boruto can become a ninja faster using scientific ninja tech, and he can be it better, but I feel like the point is about becoming it faster. Like, yes, again, Naruto's using his scientific ninja hand, and it's helping him in combat. It absorbed Boruto's water style, or whatever. But I feel like Naruto doesn't... It's, it's so... I almost see scientific ninja tech as, like, what is it, like, a tricycle wheels? It's like the training wheels. They're kind of like training wheels. Sure, they can help a master biker... But the master bike, they're not really going to do anything that the master biker couldn't do on its own anyways. Sure, it can help the master bikers make them ride faster or balance better or whatever in a marathon. But he doesn't need it and it's not really going to do anything. Unlike a freaking three-year-old toddler who's riding a bike for the first time. Yeah, it's going it, to, they almost need it at that point. That's kind of the way I see it. The other aspect, which is a big focus in the middle of the arc when Borjo kind of starts to come around to ninja attack, is honestly... It's most useful for prosthetics. It, the people, my yeah. guy, the guy who lost his leg would benefit from the prosthetic leg. The injured dog would benefit from the prosthetic leg. And someone out who's missing half his body is obviously going to benefit from the replacement mechanical parts. But it's like, <laughs> oh yeah, Naruto, Naruto has another arm anyway. <laughs> it's like, it really does the most marginal jutsu absorption thing, which is... Not really that helpful for an RT. Yeah, sure, it helps a little bit, but it's not that helpful. It's also got other cons. You know, he's got to do special chakra pumping whatever nonsense in it versus just being natural with his posture on my arm. So that's, I really feel like it's more for the people who lost part of themselves that need something to replace it. That's really where it shines the most. 